Seven years ago, when Disney's The Lion King first came to Honolulu, the bellies of two 747s were filled with sets and costumes. On tonight's Mixed Plate, we see how this year's return to the Blaisdell presents certain challenges. The National Touring Company of the Lion King ends its Los Angeles run on January 12th. Two days later, the show opens in Honolulu. Even Aladdin's genie couldn't pull off that miracle, but production stage manager Ken Davis is used to the drill. It takes a whole week to load the show in, to put, to build the show, to build all the scenery, to get all the lights put up in the air, to get all the sound uh, and speaker and our whole system set up. It takes a week. Solution? Have two of everything. That means while this cast is taking its last curtain call in Los Angeles, another Disney crew will already be setting up in the concert hall. What the show does not have in duplicate are costumes and puppets. So all of that will then be flown directly on an overnight flight, you know, all logistics willing, overnight, and it will meet us in a Honolulu on Monday uh, morning, mid-afternoon, when we'll arrive, and magically, through Disney magic, there'll be a show Tuesday night. The demands of this show have tested Disney technicians and engineers who have invented devices and systems that are now patented and used in productions around the world. And a program reminder, KITV4 will present a mixed plate special on the Lion King Christmas Day at 5.30 p.m.